There's no point in talking about Linux if I can't edit my videos and record in Linux. I would say the Windows counterpart would be Sony Vegas Pro, and that's saying a lot. Kaden Live. I, 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 I. George Bush doesn't care about black people. The FDA's official mandate towards cancer is, and I quote, to make cancer a controllable and manageable disease. I didn't hear the word cure in there, folks, did you? No, I didn't think so. And with that said, let's see what Sigmund Freud has to say about things, shall we? So Freud, I hear you have a, quite a few interesting concepts that I would like you to tell me about. Well, where do we begin? Sigmund Freud. Who's that Colonel Sanders, dude? Or who he's trying to be. There you go. Here is Sigmund Freud. <laughs> Who do you think this guy is? He, there you go. Okay. What do you think of Sigmund Freud? I think he was the father of psychology. All right. Any personal opinions? It helped me greatly when I was growing up. Because I used to read psychology today. What do you think of Sigmund Freud? Uh, mom, mom. Now you're making this tough on me. I'm, I'm a, a, a smart man. How's that? Yeah. Any other personal opinions? I don't know if I believe everything he says. So, Justin Bieber, what do you think about me? What do you think of Sigmund Freud? I think he's like super smart and stuff. And stuff? Yeah. Would you like to expand on stuff? No. Okay. Thank you for your time. <laughs> Okay, what do you think of Sigmund Freud? Okay, what do you think of Sigmund Freud? Would you like to expand on that? He talks about some very perverted things that happened during the childhood years. Do you believe in his concept? What do you think of Freud and his concepts? Um, I think he's a little bit uh, <laughs> Are there any certain ones that you believe or disbelieve or anything? Gosh, it's been a little time since I've about Freud. Um, the whole mouth thing, I kind of believe. Let's <laughs> <laughs> with a cigar. <laughs> Have your cigar with you. There you go. <laughs> All right. Uh, so what do you think about Freud and his concepts? Freud and his concepts. Uh, I would say a little bit. Uh, um, but out there, odd. yeah. <laughs> Are there any certain things you believe or don't believe or? Yeah. Is there anything else you want to add? Or uh, I, mean, I guess his theory is that you say things because internally you're thinking about them even though you're not thinking about them. Is that kind of his 
just an unconscious mind. Kind of like a double mind. thinking yeah, thing. Conscious mind. Why should Sigmund Freud be remembered? Because he's the founder of modern psychology and he's helped many people by instead of talking, or instead of killing them, he's talked to them. And by the way, he, he studied his dreams at night. Did you do that? Well, if you want to talk concept-wise, uh, one of my favorite concepts would be uh, something I did very early in life. Uh, I did a lot of experimentation on. Um, it's a little known substance known as the cocaine, as the Colombians call it. And uh, it's uh, quite special indeed. It uh, is the bomb, y'all. Save for later. And you see how the white person takes cocaine. They cut it up into the little line and then they press on one nostril. While sniffing on the other and uh, maybe the other. And uh, I'll save the rest. It's a, it's a quite a strange, nice theme if you want to think about it. Um, yeah. Was that for real? Hello, children. My name is Sigmund Freud, and I'm going to teach you about some psychological concepts today. Our first psychological concept is the unconscious mind. Now that's where all your sick, perverted, dirty thoughts, you boys. That's where it lies. But also it's where your dreams come from. Not to mention, you might think you only are thinking about one thing. You're thinking about at least like 18 things, you guys. That's how the psychological mind works when it's unconscious compared to the conscious mind. Uh, one of the concepts I developed under the influence of cocaine okay. yes, is, is the psychosexual development concept. Jalen, all you need is some It's also good. Right? Anyways, and Hannah, you too. They're such really important pieces. <laughs> so Jalen is the daughter in this scenario. Hannah, you will be the father and I shall be the mother, okay? <laughs> so, Jaylando, I don't know how to spell a girl name, he's just so good. Don't you love mommy? Yes, you do. Your mommy's favorite little daughter. <laughs> And you see, that is the Electra concept where the daughter secretly thinks about killing the mother and sleeping with the father. It's, it's some crazy stuff, man. Crazy stuff. In reverse opposite to that, to the contrary, we have the adjective from that. Now, Sam and Amber. Amber, come on, Amber. Yes, you do. Oh, yeah, so it's sad it could be up here. Amber, you shall be the boy, okay? Sam, you'll be the dad, and I'll be the mother, yes. My oh, goodness, it's the greatest. Well, let's see. If your father is shorter than you, you might as well be on your knees, probably. Okay, so I have. And pretty much an example of what this would be. That's the demonstration. I hate you, Daddy. <laughs> mommy, I love you. Yes, your mommy's favorite little boy. <laughs> and that would be the Oedipus complex. Now, you see, I have learned that the sexual development is not done in the puberty days, but it actually starts during the child years. Now, I've been told it's Controversial and it doesn't make sense and you're a horrible coke addict, Sigmund Freud, but you know, I mean, those people are just jealous because I do it like a boss. 
Is there is there any dryer rice market? So the next thing, children, is what we call a phallic symbol. And if it's plural, it's symbols. So that would be something like a banana, okay? So next time you want to eat a banana, just think, you're eating a phallic symbol. This is a very anorexic banana. <laughs> so you see, phallic symbols are anything that look like either female or male genitalia. And you see, it's especially used to put them in advertisements. So pretty much anytime you see anything sexual, that is a fallacy. I also see food to eat like popsicles and hot dogs and obviously bananas and anything that looks like male genitalia. I'm not sure the food that looks like female genitalia. Those are fallacies. The next concept we have is Freudian slip ups. Yeah. Okay, Sam, would you like to come up here? Yes, do it, Sam. Talk to him. Oh, that's so weird. So, a Freudian slip up would be like something where Sam is holding a stack of these papers that obviously do not want to be picked up. And when I look at Sam, I notice my eye direction. Because I unconsciously dream about Sam's boobs, I guess. That's how it And when I talk to Sam and I say, hey, that's a nice big rat, instead of that's a nice big stack, that's because the unconscious mind is projecting through my verbal communication of what I want. So now the thing would be if I would say the male was going to the other male and Jaden is holding the rock and God. I'm looking down there and I say, that's a nice cocky out there, I mean rock. <laughs> that is another Freudian slip up. Another example is penis envy. Anna, would you like to come up here? Oh yes, you would love to come up here for a demonstration. See, the penis envy is when the female wishes she had a penis because she thinks life would be easier with a penis. You're wrong. It's harder. <laughs> Women are evil. They rule the world. So that is pretty much penis envy in a nutshell. Like, you're kind of like Sam, not gay. She wishes she was a man. Another concept we have is talk therapy. So, Amber. Oh, Amber, yes. Oh, I find you always. So, Amber here. Okay. Amber here is psychotic, okay? We perform lobotomies and shock therapy to Amber. Amber's still crazy. So, I decided to talk to Amber like a normal person. So hopefully make her problems go away. And when that doesn't work, we feed her loving, tender medication, children. It always solves everything. Yes, go back to yourself, Amber. And you see, it's not just a few concepts we have, but my favorite concept is okay. It's the bomb, y'all. What? You try to make everything I did on cocaine. You can't, because cocaine is amazing. Anyways, so that is all the concepts we have as we are being waved up. Thank you, Miss Elsewhere. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, unwilling participating. I'll be the same, I'll be the same here, Freud. Another amazing discovery I found was when I was working and doing therapy treatment with people who've had psychological problems with them and uh, a friend of mine suggested the idea that he's been using for a while which was to sit down and actually talk with the patient and through all that talking I've discovered that 
just possibly even just talking to the patient and loving tender medication can solve all of the mental problems. And, you know, I mean, seriously, like a pill a day and uh, super expensive therapy treatments make all problems go away. Not to mention the greatest scam ever. Seriously. Rebellious teenagers forming opinions next to you know, white suburban crazy mothers sending their children to therapy. It's the greatest thing. And you can charge hundreds of dollars for hours. I mean, how do you think I pay for the iPhone? It's called seriously. Greatest ideas. Us Jews know how to do it right. Remember kids, stay off crack, do cocaine, it's a cleaner cut, and all the cool kids are doing it. If you want to be cool, right? Sure you do.